Hello everyone. So welcome in the new video of this STM 32 bit series. So in this video we will going to interface LCD with I2C interface with our microcontroller STM32 and using blue backlight LCD. So here you can see the hardware and other connection related things. So basically this I2C interface LCD is having advantage of less hardware complexity because using only four wire you can you know operate this type of LCD which required eight data channel three control channel power supply and ground right so ultimately it will reduce the complexity of the hardware meanwhile you have to write a software or program for this app but ultimately it will require less number of connections so here we are you can see our part number of the i2c devices pc app 857f4 so these are the connections and from this connection you can see we will going to use lcd in 4 bit mode so before this you must know the basic concept of lcd and if you don't then you can go and watch my previous videos where i have explained you about the lcd connections and how to you know configure the lcd and what data pins are there and what control pins are there and everything about this okay so now let us start with the basic example so the first thing is you have to configure the lcd by writing commands right and then you have to write some data so whatever data you will write it will simply display on lcd as it is right so first to configure the lcd you have to write command right and what how to write command so ultimately you have only this i2c interface so let us say you will write command like 81 is one of the command right so if you will write 81 command on this i2c interface so this device will simply convert this serial into parallel and it will uh, write all this on the parallel lines right so here you can see eight parallel lines are there okay now but here one thing you have to remember in four bit mode you cannot write 81 directly as it is because 81 is actually 8 bit data right and here only 4 bit is there so you have to write first upper nibble 8 and then you have to write lower nibble 1 right so this is how you have to configure 4 bit lcd so first you have to write 8 on this 4 pin 1000 and then 1 0001 okay now what about the control pin so as you know we have three control pin rs rw and enable so rw basically used for writing or reading so since we are only writing the data into lcd so rw will remain zero forever right now what about rs so rs will decide whether this 80 or 01 is data or command so first in configure mode uh, we will only write command so rs will be zero okay for command in data we will make this high and enable so enable is like a pulse so after writing each value you have to generate pulse okay so let us say if i want to write 81 so first up i have to write 8 okay i have to write 0 on R rs 0 on rw and 1 on enable and then 0 0 and 0 this is for 8 only okay so this whole process will uh, write 8 on the LCD. Same for Z1. So again, RS0, RW0, pulse high, RS0, RW0, pulse low. So this will write 1. So here you can see in this, I explained the same thing. Okay. So first 81. So first we will mask 1. We will keep only 8. Okay. So this is 8 and for this we have to make enable high enable low and you can see rs is zero because this is command same way for one again enable high enable low okay so this whole cycle will write only 81 on lcd so if you have 10 command you have to repeat this for 10 times okay and for that we will use some functions so next i will explain you functions which we will going to use in the programming so here you can see two functions are there send command send data these two are 
base of the whole program right core of the whole program so you have to understand this so lcd command is for the command writing and lcd data is for the data writing so in command you can see what we are doing we are actually creating one array of four byte data underscore t and we will write our all the value through this array only right now first thing is we will simply mask our least significant four bit okay and we will store that in data underscore u and then we will mask least significant four bit and that will store in l so this is upper data upper data lower so just assume that our command is 81 so data upper will have 80 data lower will have 10 right that I, this i already explained you now simply data upper enable high rs0 data upper enable 0 rs0 so this is what i have explained you right this is for 80 this is for 10 just try to understand and you will definitely easily understand this right and now after doing all this activity our data array contain all required values and then we will simply write this on i2c address right so lcd is will be our address okay and we are we will going to write four byte on that address so this is for the command so command could be any value 80 0 81 c 0 0 1 okay so multiple value we will going to write using this lcd send command function now again this is for command and now this second function is for data and you can see only one change is there which is rs so now for the data you have to make rs is equal to 1 instead of 0 okay otherwise both the things are same identical only rs is change now these are the sum of the commands you can see which we have to use 3038202806 okay so we will going to use this command to configure the lcd and this is the core function lcd underscore init right so first now this will be the program lcd init so when you write lcd init it will write different command on lcd and configure it so you can see 28080106 0c these are the command 2806 so you can check okay for what, what function we are configuring this and you can change it as per your requirement and this is the last command function lcd underscore send underscore string so let us say if you want to write hello so you have to simply pass this into this function and you can see it will pass this function character by character h e l l o right so first it will transfer h using that this command then it will write e using this function and it will write l using this function l and finally o okay and you can see in this string last character will be null so it will stop after sending all the string so this is the program that we will going to use so let us start creating new project on lcd cube mx select the board Now you can see some pins are already configured, so we have to clear this. Now, first provide the clock. Right. And now, since we are only using I2C, so in I2C in connectivity, you have to simply enable i2c c1 
and our connections are same as in previous video pb8 will be our i2c1 data and pb sorry pb9 will be a data pb8 will be the clock okay so this is the configuration part now here we will going to give project name i2c stm lcd tool chain over will be the arm kl5 generate the code so it will generate the code and now simply open the project this is the same code which i've explained you now one more thing i am using this device okay i purchased this from this website only and you can see this is the address is given 0 x27 so this is the address of the i2c lcd right so now we have to simply open our main.c file we have to copy this address first you have to define the address okay so here is the address and then we will copy all functions except the final part okay and then we have all the functions lcd send data lcd send command lcd init lcd string and now, now here we will write our code so our code is very simple lcd underscore init so this will initialize the lcd okay then as you can see we have to send some command lcd underscore send command now i'm going i'm writing 80 i will explain you why i why i'm writing 80 then hal delay this is for the delay very small delay you can check as per your device and configuration and finally we will send data lcd send string and in string i am simply writing hello message on the lcd now why this lcd command 80 is there so this command will set the position since we have 16 cross 2 lcd so this will write our message on first line okay so that's why 80 is there so first we will check this and then i will also add logic for the writing message on second uh, line okay so let us just build the code here you can see the connections so connections are same as in our previous video this is the lcd you can see the excite i2c device is there okay serial block serial data this is c and ground okay and here you can see now our code will successfully now simply we have to upload this generated hex file on the board you can see you can observe from the L this uh, light also right now code is uploaded successfully we have to simply print reset and we have the hello message now let us see if i want to send another message on second line so what i can do i can simply copy this whole line and now instead of 80 i will write c0 so c indicates that this message will print on second line this is 16 cross 2 lcd so we have two lines so c0 means second line and here i will write r where code okay and this is the message which should be printed on the second line of the lcd and now i'm building the code so again it will take some time now if you want to see this message hello from first 
column to second column so here you can change it right so 80 means starting position of the first line but if i will write 84 it means fourth position on first line if i will write 85 so it will print on fifth position or fifth column on first line right so we have 16 columns and two rows so 8 indicate first row c indicate second row 81 indicate first column first row 85 indicate first row fifth column right so this is how you can change the position of the message right so this is 80 means first row starting position hello so that's why you can see this message is start from printing from this first position of the row and c0 indicates second row in starting position so again this message should print from this position only hardware code right so this is how uh, we can set the position okay so wait for the process to be completion and then we will simply upload this and check the required output And meanwhile i will put all these codes related links in the description box so you can just go through it Now you can see code will successfully simply upload this and press reset and you can see hello hardware code so this is how you can set the position so this is what for this video if you really like my work then please like my youtube videos and subscribe my youtube channel thank you very much